All right, so now we have 6-5, Economic Imperialism from 1750 to 1900. In this political cartoon, it portrays a British man in a black top hat reaching down to South Africa into the gold fields. With the coming of the Industrial Revolution, more resources were needed to sell and buy. British imperialism solved this problem, and this cartoon suggests that from taking the gold in South Africa, the British were getting rich and supporting their economy. Another economic imperialism from 1750 to 1900. Cecil Rhodes is portrayed standing over Africa, controlling the economic relationship with Europe. Cecil Rhodes, a British imperialist, created the De Beers Company that dominated the World Diamond Company. They started with multiple mining companies established throughout South Africa. This monopoly was sealed in 1890 through a partnership with a company in London, the Diamond Syndicate. During the making of this company, Rhodes was able to establish another British colony in South Africa, Rhodesia.